Losing some vision doesn't mean you have to stop cutting, chopping, or slicing your own ingredients. Here are some easy tools and techniques that keep you safe while preparing your meals. First, try doing all of your prep on a baking sheet or large tray. Everything stays in one place for easy cleanup. A nonstick mat underneath will stop the tray from sliding around while you're working. Now, get everything you'll need out and ready. Pick out a cutting board with contrast in mind, a dark board for light-colored food, and a white or light board for dark food. Then it's easier to see what you're doing. Think about lighting. Bright, even light that shines right on the job at hand and not in your eyes works best. Experiment a little. Use combinations of overhead and task lights to create lighting that works for you. You likely have a cutting board already, but if you don't, a plastic mat board's really useful. It bends so when you're done chopping, you can curl up the edges and funnel your food into your pan or bowl. The resource section has information on this and other types of cutting boards. Some are adapted for low vision. There are plenty of knives available with different adapted handles and grips. In general, a sharp chef's knife is best for chopping and dicing. Here's a safe way to grip your knife. Your index finger and thumb should be opposite each other on either side of the blade, while your other three fingers are sort of loosely curled around the handle. You should be gripping the knife mainly with your thumb and index finger. You don't need perfect vision to stay safe if you use the same method for holding your food that professionals use. It's simple. Hold what you're slicing down on the board with your fingertips. Keep your fingers slightly curled under and your thumb tucked away behind them. Then your fingers won't be in the way of the blade and the outside edge of your knuckles can act as a guide for the knife blade. If you're cutting round vegetables or fruit, cut them in half. Put half of it flat side down on the cutting board to stabilize it. Hold it with your non-cutting hand so it won't move while you're cutting it. You can use a smaller paring knife to peel just about anything. Let's look at the correct peeling technique. Peel away from your body at a 45 degree angle. Start with half of the vegetable to keep your working surface area easier to manage. Whether you're in the middle of a recipe or all done for the day, stay safe by always keeping track of where your knife is placed or stored. Knives are the one tool in your kitchen you don't want to search for by feeling around, whether that's in a sink or a drawer. Don't take the chance that you grab your knife by anything other than its handle. One more thing, when cleaning up, make sure to put the knife either behind the faucet of the sink with the blade facing away or immediately wash and store it separately. Simple tools like a tray, a contrasting cutting board, good lighting, and good cutting technique can make prepping foods safe and easy. To check out the rest of the cooking series, visit hadleyhelps.org.